Jasper Loffelson, when you're going to score your first goal of the season, I, I believe the expression is make it worth it. I, I would imagine you did smash the netting, smash the camera. What did it sound like down there field level? Uh, to be honest, I didn't even I didn't even know what was going in. Uh, Danny played a fantastic ball, was in full stride, just trying to trying to hit it like close to the keeper somewhere where he couldn't couldn't make a reaction safe. Uh, but I, I fell over doing that, so uh, <laughs> my first look was into the crowd and they were all cheering. So I was like, oh gosh, like uh, <laughs> uh, I hit it pretty well, I was in. So uh, yeah, just started the celebration felt felt unreal. The the atmosphere was crazy. Uh, the fans, the fans were were amazing tonight. They they cheered us on the whole way. So just a great feeling to to finally score at home as well. So yeah, I owed it to them. Yeah, Jasper. I mean, the pathless traveled from Germany to Pittsburgh to out here in Salt Lake City. You know, how do you express, I guess, the gratitude, but kind of the the own understanding of the importance of what it takes, both physically and mentally, to find your pathway to the pros? Um, that's a that's a good question. I feel like. Uh, everything what you go through happens for a reason. Uh, my path has been everything else but ordinary, I would say. Uh, kind of quitting soccer in Germany, just going to the U.S. to 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 study basically, and getting that that unbelievable chance, uh, going into the draft, uh, playing for playing for a wonderful college, and and getting a chance here. And as soon as I got that chance, it's it's all about like just the mentality piece and and trying to trying to prove prove everybody wrong that you can do something out here. As uh, mentality is just trying to trying to focus on your body, try to listen to it, work hard, um, and yeah, just just try to try to lock, be locked in all the time, trying to trying to prove everybody wrong that you can do something special. And uh, yeah, I hope I I can continue that way. Yeah, it's been a fun journey to watch. Jasper, at the start of the season, you guys win on the road in Vancouver, and then the next couple of games become a little bit more difficult. Pablo Mastroeni telling us you guys didn't become a bad team overnight. How did you kind of pull yourselves out collectively? Not only the physical side, but maybe the psychological side of figuring out how to score goals. Um, I mean, I, f I feel like it's it's kind of about about confidence, you know. Uh, you, you're going into the first game, winning. Uh, maybe it wasn't our best game, but we we'll still get away with the result. But like the other two, two three games, uh, we we couldn't find the back of the net, and I feel like that's that's always tough for for attacking guys. Uh, we had we had Jake Ladd as our top goal scorer for for the first four or five matches. I feel like. Um, so yeah, it's always it's always tough for the attacking guys to get going if they if they don't find the back of the net. But um, over over the last two games, three games of this one, uh, we found our rhythm. We we created a lot of chances, and and that's what it's all about. And I feel like today we did a great job just keeping the keeping the team in the game because because we knew we we're going to score at least one or two. And and as soon as we we don't concede more, then that's just just how the game <laughs> game unfolds, kind of you know. Yep. Congratulations, Jasper. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, guys. Congrats, Have a good man. night. Thank you.